Alright, okay, so normally this part of the video I do some sort of introduction, do some preamble, write some shit out, speak it out, but fuck it, I'm just gonna freeball this one. So I see a lot of people shitposting, and I'm a big lover of the shitpost, but the shitpost they gotta end. The patch is coming, it's around the corner, 6.87, yeah, it might be the end of the times, you see some of the stale heroes at the moment, but the patch is always gonna come, don't you worry, we'll be getting there soon. Oh, and you've just entered the trench. Okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode something of Tales from the Trench. And this is going to be actually an exciting game. Look at that. You know it's going to be an exciting game when your Ricky starts with a bracer and nothing else. Best Ricky build. Thank you very much. It is pretty good uh, Ricky build. So we do have Boots of Speed coming straight out for the TA. Let's have a look what's going down down here. But we've got the Doom obviously with the Devourer already. The Ricky with the bracer at level 1. Skeptical. I am very skeptical to see this actually working out. But let's see how it goes down. They are going to try and go for the Rune Snatch. Doom has slapped his massive testicles on the field. But not actually going anything. And Ricky's not actually going for the Snatch either. Void has already used his Time Walk to little to no effect. Although Doom has taken a lot of damage. The Boots first not really coming out. And Terra Blades popped Metamorphosis. Achieving somewhere in the region of fuck and all. Oh, no region on the Terra Blade. No region on the Ricky. Checking up here. We do see the Chaos Knight going in for the level 1 kill on the Necrofoss. Necrofoss does have another heal up. But this is going to be your first blood CK. So close. And yet so far he will fall at the first hurdle. Wait, Juggernaut. Juggernaut's gone in as well mid. Okay, he's got to be walking to the Terra Blade. Now goes in for the spin. The Metamorphosis level one doing a little bit of work. Terrible walks out, actually runs out of metamorphosis. Juggernaut kind of is shocked that he's still alive and is now trying to run away. Remember, that's the boots first TA. The TA is going to be able to run down Juggernaut, no problem whatsoever. One more hit. Obviously, that stout shield is doing some work there. Juggernaut's running the wrong way. Is he going for the denial for the ancients? No, he's not. Who knows where Juggernaut's going? Does he want to die to the doom instead? It looks like he's going to be running straight into a tower. That's your last auto attack from TA and that gets killed. Okay, so what have we seen so far? We've already seen a one to one. And we do see a bit of dive down bar, and it's an Omni Light leading the way. He does have a heal available, but that's a level one heal, so that doesn't do much. And Doom's just like, Lamau. Uh, what do we see there? We do see the big envenomed weapon. That's a whopping two damage a second. But in the mid lane, we do see the Juggernaut currently spinning down. Sniper's having to back out a little bit, but now TA's in trouble. Potentially could be dying. Actually, no. This is just Invis for you. Invis equals invincibility as well, really. And now he comes out against the Juggernaut. Juggernaut kind of stands his ground. Are they actually going to die to this person? Maybe. He's got to regen a lot of mana and he is on cooldown for a spin. So it looks like TA is actually going to get away with this. A little bit insane. Up top, we will see Omni Knight rotating to grab the rune. Uh, crazy things have happened. Juggernaut's nearly got that mana for the spin. And obviously the cooldown is getting there. But the heal now up from TA. Turn that around with the refraction. Now Juggernaut's actually going to be able to turn this into a kill. Are you fucking kidding me? He places the offensive ward. But Omni Knight doesn't go to hit the ward. But Juggernaut doesn't go to run away either. The ward's still standing there as the one... I, I don't even know for what you call it in that fight. But now down bot, we've got Terra Blade to try to hit the Doom. Just having a man fight one-on-one. -on -one, and it looks like Doom's going to be like, oh, cool, I've won another fight. So, up top, Necrofoss gets a kill onto Void. Void did not have Time Walk, so at least that answers that. Has got one 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 would probably max out the Time Walk here, as I can't imagine him needing that. And the Chaos Knight is so low on everything, with absolutely no regen. It's actually dying the Heartstop Aurora. And Necrofoss just wants to just slap his massive cock down on this lane. Speaking of massive cock, here it is. Going to hit the Chaos Knight. He gets another kill delivered to him. 1.8k gold in this offlane Necro. Somebody lock him up. He is rocking it. Curry is still walking up here top. That's going to be obviously with your headdress. But now Necro in trouble. And that heal is so fucking good against the Faces Void. Faces could have probably got that last hit off. But doesn't go for it. Chaos Knight wants to go for it as well. 14 Saints on the Rift. Oh no. Oh are you kidding me? Chaos Knight taking the full frontal force of the tower just dies. Necro is just like. Cool I got a kill. Nice. That's 4-0 on your Necro by the way. Kind of pretty juice. <sighs> And uh, the Curry is now going to be delivering mid. I haven't really talked much against the Jug Sniper duo. I'm assuming this wasn't consenting. And all, as always, you should always get consent with your lanes. TA is now going to be sitting there with the Haste Stream. Does a three baller charge as well. So could try and go for the Juggernaut. Juggernaut is standing. Appears to be AFK. But this is next level bait here. Now turns. Goes to attack the TA. TA is bottle charging in between all attacks. Now pops his air refraction. There's going to be a Shrapnel down. Actually, no. The Shrapnel was down on the creeps. Now stands his ground. Juggernaut hasn't got anything left. Trust still stands his ground against him as... <gasps> What the fuck? Okay, that was a little bit close. 1.4k gold on this juggernaut. And this juggernaut really wants to die. I will still die to the creep giving gold to the TA. So, TA then goes, ah. 
Rush now been popped by Doom with the Venom Weapon. Is he going to go in for the Rush? He already does have level 3 heals, so it could do a hefty amount of damage. There's your Chaos Knight. Rotates around. You're already one second stun, but the Scorch has already used. They turn around on the Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight comes more into immediately Fever. That's 0 5 on your Chaos Knight now. Terrible wants to walk after him, but hasn't taken this slow yet. Does have Boots of Speed and a Bracer, but again, this is achieving absolutely nothing. G oh, right. You know what I mean. British Summertime. Whatever the fuck we're on. We're o'clock, dude. TA has got a kill on the Necrofoss, which is big time gold as well. All right. Fucking hell. No one likes a smart ass. This is why... Oh, I, can't e I can't even flame, dude. No one likes a smart ass. Chaos Knight. The stun which achieves little to nothing. Chaos Knight now walks after the Juggernaut. This Juggernaut is being beautiful bait. Sniper stands his ground. It's going to get a free kill. Could turn his... Really? Running? I guess the TA is coming, but the TA is... Actually, the TA is kind of scary. There's the Assassinate onto the Chaos Knight. The Chaos Knight has got 180 health, so that's going to be a kill. Going for an early Desolator on this TA now. Down bot. We are going to see Doom get a kill. And actually a double kill there. Stands his ground. 3-0-2 onto him now. Going to have a Vlad suit if he wants for it in the mid lane. They are going to try and get the TA. Juggernaut taking a lot of damage as well. But TA will just put themselves in invis. Does he have any regen? Does have a regen. Could just have a fraction and regen up and run away. Blink's nice to That's going to be the assassinate for the side. TA now pops for a fraction. Tries to run away. There's no slow on them and there's no way to really stop them. Now stealths up underneath the tower. Ricky don't care though. Ricky just walks in under the tower. Realizes it's too late. He's like, oh, I made a mistake. And just walks to his death. Doom goes to the kill onto Terrorblade. Terrorblade does have Sunder available. So he could swap house. He should go to do it. He's not going to do it. He is going to just die. Doom again with the big kills. Has Doom off cooldown in 25 seconds as well. So this Omni Knight, if he returns, just could just be dying as well. Omni Knight with the haste is going to be running around. Walks into the Ricky. No, actually doesn't go for it. The ulti from... <gasps> Fucking sick chrono there from the void. Void God turns it around. Unfortunately, Ricky's already popped his ollie, but faces forward, goes to walk forward, does save his Omni Knight's friend, does have a heal up in two seconds, doesn't go for it though. That's gonna be a really shit time for the void, so never mind. If you do a chrono that good, I guess you can make some mistakes. And now they're gonna spin on top of him and just get a free kill. The Omni Knight couldn't have done a heal, but could have gone for a re repeal. Could have gone for a repeal instead. Chaos Knight still struggling with items and is currently 0 9 0. However, TA is really picking up the slack. Carrier flying straight out into the Ricky because fuck subtlety. And there you go. Fortunately, he does deliver the item, but Ricky just does not give a fuck about his team. And Void is currently 3-3-3 three, three, three skill build. Indecisive is the name of the game. Has popped time dilation. Kind of works because the Ricky's gone in, but Void didn't know he was there. So time dilation popped for absolutely no reason. A fortunate rune, fortunate time, and Juggernaut's still pushing. The suicidal push is a strategy. Not the strategy which is going to work, but it is a strategy, you know. Oh, Juggernaut has already used his Omni Sash again. And he's kind of just feeding for the... Yeah, he is just feeding for the towers. But he's feeding for the towers and not getting the towers. Fucking hell, Omni Knight's got a Vanguard as well. Is there some sort of fucking secret Vanguard cabal going on? Is Ricky gone two boots? I haven't even fucking looked at that. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Hold the fuck. Hold the fuck. Alright, let's just watch this back. Okay. They're both on full health. Yeah. The fucker's just on full health. Okay, nice. The full health Sunder. Good shit. So nice we watched it twice. Unfortunately, he does get crowded and TA'd. But that Sunder really threw me off. <laughs> of just... It would be a casual cast like this where I'd talk to the chat and shit. But it's just like a pro game. Oh, Necro. Oh, Necro. I mean, God bless you. You gotta try, I guess, if you've got the TA just knock it at you. Doom does have Doom up in one second. Give this TA. That's a big kill spree. Actually, he's gonna get with the Infernal Blade anyway. Never mind, Doom. 1.2k gold in your front fucking pocket. Two boots on Ricky. Lamau. Has Ricky actually bought four carries? Motherfucker, why have you got four carries? It's all the fours. Four kills, four assists, four deaths, four clarities. And Doom's walking after the naked Terrorblade. Terrorblade's walking away. Has been doomed up. Look how stupid this fucker's face looks. And he's already dead. Ricky has come in and he's stolen the kill. Fucking beautifully. Pops a clarity as well. That's what we call the victory clarity. Slip, slurping on that purple drank. And Faces Void has got in for the sniper. Sniper's trying to try and TP. Unfortunately, immediately bashed. Tries to stand his ground, but he's getting bashed. Fucking high heaven. And there's now going to be a boots travel in by the Ricky. Because Ricky's just like, I'm invisible fuckers. What you going to do? I don't need coach, dude. I'm still the best. And Faces Void has already time walked himself. 
Hey. Away. You're gonna do about it. Ricky. Absorbs the smoke cloud, but I guess when you got this many carries, why the fuck not? Doom has got a heart. Phase, Vanguard, heart, headdress. Very hard to kill. Necros will kill the CK. CK's now died 12 times. Has used his helmet the Dominator, so I've got to give him credit there for actually using. You know, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have bet that. I wouldn't have bet he'll do that. Be good. And every clarity has been used by the Ricky. So, you know what? I'm going to give them that much. Most people, they would buy four carries. They wouldn't use four carries. This fucker does use four carries. He uses four carries worth of mana. He fucking drinks the carries. Good to give him more of a chance. Chrono's already come out down bot face. Boy trying to focus down the Juggernaut. Juggernaut stands his ground. Will pop a zombie slash. Oh, he's... oh and there's the time walk. I was going to say, Juggernaut, if he got that. The Juggernaut who's got... Three Mithril Hammers and three Clarities. What's this with the numbers? Three Assists, three Mithril Hammers, three Clarities. Huh. And that's another Curry killed. I believe it's been quite a few Curry killed Doom. We need Curry Babel. We'll try and focus down the kill. Right, that's a weak side. Are you fucking kidding me? He got double, double OE'd? The 0 14 Chaos Knight got Doomed and Reapers? Okay, maybe the Dyer are going to win just by throwing CK's body into the it away. He actually heals up the neck frost, but neck frost then gets killed anyway, so nice mind of meta games there. Doom's getting focused down, we need the big crits. No, they actually go for the wiki instead, the wiki does die extremely quickly. Infernal Blade comes in as well, by the Doom, but there's going to be a triple kill. Boy, ya yeah boy, you Terror Blade. Feedwise, Feedwise is a tie. Feedwise, we've got Juggernaut and Chaos Knight. Now, Juggernaut has died more, true, but... Juggernaut has been in some positive impact for his team. Down bot, we have got Terra Blade just getting a kill, and obviously they do get a return. <gasps> no, dude! Necrofoss could have just got the easy kills, and instead they don't get any. Oh my fuck, are you kidding me? He just Reaper's Illusion, and our sniper dies as well to the Terra Blade and the CK mix. CK's now got a casual Christmas, because why not? So it's not even late night. Fuck it, it's just the Love and Cast. And there's now a Maelstrom after CK? Christmas Maelstrom. Huh. There's three hearts now out in this void. Still up top. Obviously, Ricky walks in with him. 4k gold to the Ricky, but the Ricky's gonna just be dying. There's only one death there. Unfortunately, they have no reveal. I say, unfortunately, they have like, no reveal. Like, that's, uh, that's just unlucky. But really, no one's just buying reveal. Simple solution to a simple problem. Terrorblade. Oh, there we go. I say about revealed. He buys a gem. Get away from your odds. Shame on you. Get away on me twice. Gem in Dota 2. Something like that. Yeah, times. Here comes the wrap around. TA's already coming and got a kill again. And a Sunder which does nothing. But they don't need the Sunder when you're just going to kill the enemies anyway. And Necros tries to walk away. Ricky actually takes a damage of the Splash. Can also continue to run. They're not going to do on the TA. The TA does have an Aegis. So unfortunately that Doom will not be getting much. Obviously an Aegis is something you could argue. But... Really not what they need to get, and uh, Terra Blade's just going to be uh, hiding itself up to full health, and they get another kill there as the TA just respawns, it gets big 1k crits. 4.4k gold from the Ricky is going to go for the split rush rather than TP and back to the base, and I think this may be a rather large mistake, as they need to defend the base. Juggernaut, hey! He won item! Chain was a fourth Mithril Hammer, I, why would you, right, okay, let's think like a new player. You go to the shop. You see all this shit. Maybe you think this is all the stuff you can buy. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You're like, 24 damage. Well, that's that's 21 damage. So I want more damage, so I get 24. And then you think, like, maybe you get kills. Maybe that makes sense, you know? At least there's a little bit of logic there. Would've been good. And jumping with the Omni Slash. That's TA coming in with the big old hits there. Really just getting so many kills, and the dude's gonna try and walk away. I actually know he's gonna stand his ground, except death gracefully, and that's gonna be a triple kill for the TA. He's now coming up to the 30 kills mark. When I was new, I didn't know you could buy items, then just after that, I didn't see the point getting early game items. When I was new, I only played Lycan and chase people. That's pretty fucking big. Sniper goes to assassinate. Unfortunately, TA has an ability called Refraction, which means they will not be taking damage until they take a certain amount of damage instances. And now everyone is going one by one to kill the TA like she's some sort of boss. She's not even some sort of boss. It's like some Kill bill ass shit where they're all just gathered up to try and kill him. And they are going to be going to finish the game now. 46 minutes into the game, the TA has got 31 kills. And it looks like this game has really been a one-stop fuck avenue. Chavlin is the most cost effective in the game. Branch is the most cost effective in the game. 
When I was new, I used to get boots potion to game start. I still get boots potion to game start, mate. It's fucking god tier. And there's a buyback from the neck cross. However, too little, too late. That is gonna be it. There we go. And that's GG. Thank you very much for watching. As always, have a very lovely day.